How beautiful is this? Uh, these jars. These are hand soaps, and I would assume they're plastic. I have not opened them yet. It's called Italian Deruda. Um, it's a hand soap collection. Oh, it says plastic bottles. Okay, plastic bottles. They don't look like plastic bottles, though, do they? They look like ceramic. They're gorgeous. And I asked Kevin, I said, okay, which one is your favorite? Because I, I have to know. And we both picked the same one. So, you look at them and you decide which is your favorite. Okay, this is the one that Kevin and I both picked. And I think it's just because the pattern's very intricate and the color, there's just a lot of colors going on there. And so we both picked that one. Um, but you turn it over, um, you have olive thyme, lemon verbena, sweet orange and lavender and my dad we were over at my dad's house and my dad gave me these and um honestly he just got back from a vacation in uh, south carolina and uh, he had a wonderful vacation in south carolina and uh, i thought he had bought these down there no he did not he bought them at costco and he said guess how much those cost me and i'm thinking i said okay costco and honestly i didn't know they were plastic bottles i thought they were ceramic bottles so when i guessed i was guessing for ceramic bottles so i said 45 dollars he said, how about $10, uh, which is absolutely terrific. Um, I mean, that's cheaper than you can get a big bottle like that at Bath & Body Works any day. That's a huge bottle. So anyway, I just wanted to show those to you. If you have a Costco membership, we do not have a Costco membership or Sam's Club membership. But we it, we, it was just a waste for us, you know. He uses it all the time. He goes to Costco probably s several times a week, constantly buying stuff. We just very, very rarely went. And sometimes when we went, we would buy like one thing. So it's like, okay, this isn't worth it to us. But I get it for people who... Um, use it all the time or have a large family or whatever you know there's certain things that you buy for your family that we don't buy for our family that makes it worthwhile uh, but even the tops of these bottles i think they're so pretty so if you see them just know they're only 10 bucks we've been out uh, shopping today and i have not vlogged any of it uh really because there hasn't been anything to vlog <coughs> we went in meyer and the only thing we bought in meyer was dry ice and for the next door for the next door yeah we spent like 14 dollars on a block of dry ice but i'm glad kevin bought a big block because we ended up having to split it into two um we brought our cooler with us um and we're in lexington so we're not at jungle gyms <laughs> um, normally we only get the cooler out for jungle gyms so we got a few stops so. yes we have a few stops we um we knew that a brand new brand came out at target it's called favorite day so target has this uh favorite day ice cream and they've come out with <laughs> all different flavors and um so we knew we were going to be buying a lot of ice cream so we uh right now in the trunk we filled up the whole cooler plus one of our freezer bags full, full. of ice cream and it's not just favorite day we found some kemp's kemp's makes really good like we've been getting kemp's at like kroger for years but this is Kemp's that we normally don't get in our area. Like there's one that's like a, maybe a white chocolate raspberry. And then I think there's like a, a what is that vegetable that, that you don't uh, like? Rhubarb. Rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. Kevin doesn't like rhubarb. No, sometimes rhubarb's good. I'm thinking it might be good though. Um, I'm thinking it might be uh, good with the strawberry, you know? Um, we made strawberry rhubarb pie. That was good. And it was good, yeah. So it just depends on how much... Depends uh, on how sharp that rhubarb is. Exactly. Uh, but you all will have seen that stuff in the hall last week. Because the vlogs in the halls start at two different times during the week. Yeah. So so when, you, when I'm talking about oh all this God. ice cream, if you're curious, then you would have watched it last week. Do you like Kevin's sound effects? I was having to put your camera down just a little. Oh. He has to see. 
He has to see to switch lanes. Imagine that. He has to drive while I'm filming. Yeah, anyway, we watched... Um, we don't watch a ton of movies. Um, actually, I watched a movie by myself yesterday without Kevin. I'll tell you about that one first. Um, well, I'll tell you about that one second. I'll tell you about that one second. The one that I watched with Kevin last night was called The Woman in the Window. And it came out on Netflix last night. So, last night was Friday night. It came out. And it has Amy Adams. And it has, uh, what's the guy who played Dracula? It's not Gary. Gary Oldman. Oh. Yeah, Gary Oldman. And I really like Gary he Oldman. He looks completely different in this movie. He does. He does not look it, like... You can, you can hear his voice. Yeah. But he doesn't look anything like him. He, no, because he's an older gentleman now. And he looks like an older gentleman. Mm, he does hair. not look like Dracula anymore. Um, but it it was a one time. It was it a was one okay. time. The story was okay. The story was okay. It was about... It was a, somewhat predictable. Yes, it was about an hour and 41 minutes. Well, when I read what it was about, I told Kevin, I said, this sounds just like Alfred Hitchcock, like Rear Window or something, where the person's inside. I think in Rear Window, I haven't seen it in years and years. It's a black and white, but it's really, really good. I'm thinking he's at home, and he's stuck, confined to a wheelchair, and he sees a murder happen outside his window. I'm thinking that was how rear window went so when i read about this film i thought it sounded very very similar amy adams is stuck in the house she has a fear of going outside at all and uh, she's in this big brownstone i think it was took place in like massachusetts it was beautiful beautiful brownstone and um like four floors so you got the basement but then you have three additional I floors thought, no, so it's like, in new york i thought they moved to new york from Boston. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It takes place in New York. Okay. Um, but that doesn't matter. She's no, stuck in the house <laughs> and basically she sees a murder happen outside the window. And so that's what the movie's about. And it's an hour and 41 minutes. Could and have been shorter. Kevin and I both agreed that it could have been about 10 minutes short. It could, they could have gotten it down to about an hour and 30 minutes and it would have been better but it was interesting for a first, you know, for a one-time thing for me. It was just a one-time. She did a good job. She did do a good job. She did a really good job. Um, she does, uh, yeah, she, she did a really good job. And then what was that other woman's name? I can never remember her name that was in it. She played in Boogie Nights and The Hours. She was really good. She, uh, um, anyway, it was a good uh, thing to watch. So the movie that I watched was called Ammonite and it takes place in um, 1840s England. And Kate Winslet plays a fossil hunter. And I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of talking in this movie. It's, it's very, I really enjoyed it. But Kevin would not have enjoyed it. It was very slow paced, very little talking. It is a love story. It is a love story um, between Kate Winslet and another woman. And when I say explicit, that is exactly what I mean. I was watching this movie thinking, Lord help me if Kevin walks into the room right now. Because he would be like, what in the world are you watching? I mean, because it was explicit. You see full frontal male nudity, which is not typical, um, but the sex scenes are not have anything to do with men at all the man you do see full frontal but it, it has nothing to do with him the the um the sex scenes are between kate winslet and somebody else but that being said it wasn't like that was the whole movie that only happened in just a very 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 small part of the movie the story itself was wonderfully told it was brilliant it really really was but you have to if you're gonna watch it you just have to know that it's coming 
and you need to just be willing to deal with it or don't watch it at all. If stuff like that, if explicit sex things bother you, bothers you, then just don't plan on watching it. But I do think it was a wonderful love story and I'm usually not into gushy chick flick stuff, but this wasn't like that because Kate, that wasn't Kate Winslet's character in this movie. Her character is stone cold, hardcore, like she has a barrier up. She is not messing with anything or anybody in this movie. And so it wasn't a gushy kind of love story. So if you've seen it, you can comment below. Um, I thought it was good though. I forgot to tell you when we were in Meyer and we got that dry ice, I had never noticed it before. You always have to, uh, when you're going through the self-check with the dry ice, it always says approval is needed. So that means somebody has to come over and see how old you are. But I never noticed how old you have to be to get the dry ice. Well, you have to look. It, yeah, it popped up on the screen. The person had to make sure that you were at least 40. That you looked 40. That you looked 40 years old. And I'm wondering... I think you can buy it when you're probably 18 or 21, but... But why do you have to look 40? So I they mean, don't have to take your ID. Uh, I just thought that was weird. 40 years old, and I thought, okay, so that doesn't mean you're not allowed to buy it unless you're 40. Right. That just means they don't have to ask for your ID if you look 40. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, it's I was, like with cigarettes. I think if you buy cigarettes or beer, they say you have to look a certain, a certain age. age. Okay. And we definitely look over 40. <laughs> um, I don't even know if she paid any attention, but I thought that was funny because we've never noticed it before. I think you need to be over in the left line. So we are on Nicholsville Road right now. We just left Trader Joe's. We did not get very much in Trader Joe's. Um, you need more frozen items. Yeah, we got some uh, a couple of things that, like I said earlier, you'll see it in last week's grocery haul. Um, but it, uh, we are um, usually on this side of town earlier, so normally we beat all this traffic, and today we're running later. Uh, I've told you uh, before, we miss Ch uh, Chapel, our cat. We miss him very much, but one thing I do have to say is that we have been able to sleep in, so we uh, didn't get out. Uh, until later today. Oh. She's getting over. Hello, woman. Um, <laughs> we didn't get out until later because we didn't get up until later. So we we slept later today. Than we have in years. Years. We slept until what? 8.50, 8.45? No. Was it? Mm -hmm. It wasn't 7.45? No, it was 8. It was 8. It may have been 8.40. Something like that. That's late for us. Very, very late for us. Because, well, we went to bed last night. We watched that movie. And so, <coughs> it was probably midnight or 20 or like, after. Yeah, it was like 12.30. Yeah, it was probably 12.30 when we went to bed. Which uh, is but, when we usually go to bed. But we never got to sleep in because Chapel always poked me. He always poked me and woke me up. It's starting early. I mean, he would start at like, what, 6.30? Um, well, yeah, sometimes 5.30. Um, but usually about 6.30 in the morning, he would start to poke me and wake me up because he wanted to be fed. So... If I had any advice to give to people, it would be do not get your pet in the habit of eating first thing in the morning. Uh, because wake you up. they're going to wake you up because they want to eat first thing in the morning. And sometimes you might want to sleep in. But, um, yeah, he, he would wake us up early. So, it was really odd sleeping in that late today. So, then that made us not get out until later. So, now there's just, there's a lot of traffic. And... The weather's really nice, so um, I think that's what has a lot of people out too. It's just the weather's being not, uh, being so nice. But it is a lot of traffic up there. So we did all that shopping earlier, and now we've come for a walk. And I always like passing this house because they have um, pretty flowers out front.
over at Ashley's place, and you all are gonna die when I tell you this. <laughs> um, Ashley has decided to all that stuff that we got at um, that antique place um, last week. I think it was like a week or two ago in the vlog. She lived with it for a little while with the lamp and the dishes, and she decided it wasn't for her, and so she's given it all to me. And so I'm gonna take it home. Um, th this lamp, this is one of the things. And um, it just doesn't look right in here. And you know what? And it's I just okay. Don't like it. It's okay. I told her. I said that happens with everybody. I said, uh, uh, like a year ago, I bought a Halloween decoration from Target. Took the tag off of it and everything. Kept it out on display for a whole week. And then took it back to Target. Because sometimes you have to live with things in your area to decide if they're for you or not. So, that's fine with me. I'll have some really nice dishes now. But she went to the store today and I'm gonna show you. Okay, and I'll show you what she got. She bought some stuff for her classroom. Okay, so this is like, is this like a whole new theme? It's gonna add to what I already have. Okay. So I'm taking down, have they seen my classroom? I don't know if they've seen it. No, they've never if seen they your classroom. If they follow me on Instagram, they can see it. I've got some big paper flowers covering an entire wall that I made. Right. I'm gonna take all those down. Okay. And I'm gonna put this stuff up in that place. But um, the rest of my stuff is gonna stay because I don't have to move rooms this year. Pray right, so now do you right. get all these colors? Yeah, you get three each, green, orange, and then two each of aqua pink and red. Okay, and those are very cute. Yeah, I wish instead of the two orange, they would've given me two red. Right. Like two of the classic apple colors. We know what now, do you get a discount because you're a teacher? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Well, I didn't know. Okay. And then I got two Those school buses. Those are so cute. Isn't that precious? And you said they're going to put their names on the bus? Yeah. Like that can label their cubby. Oh, that's like, adorable. actually number one. You know? That's adorable. And then I got new student numbers because they just pick at them. Okay. Um, I got a thing of apples to match. I got some mini apples to match. I've learned to get two of them. This looks like it would be for a calendar. Uh, it could be. Or I could write student numbers on that, really. Yeah. Um, but the colors all match. I got the little uh, sticky tags. That's cute. So the first day the school, name tag, yeah. I labeled them. Um, got a thing of rainbows. Honestly, I did not buy this in this trip. I bought this like 10 trips ago and stuck it in this bag. Um, I don't love these. I mean, okay, I do. They do not match with a single other thing in my closet. No, I was going to say they don't match um, with anything else. So but. I think I'm going to give those away as like a little prize or right on the back of it. Like, thank you for, you know, keeping your area clean and give it to them. I don't know. I'm going to do something with that. I got a roll of marvelous tape, which is really expensive. I got two of the apples. I've learned get two of everything up front and then if you don't use it, take it back. Right. But it sucks to be halfway through something and then to run out of board, which is why right. I got three of this. Those are adorable. And look, it's black and white, so I'm going to lay layer them with this. That is very... I would have never thought to put those two together, but Isn't it goes. That cute? It looks adorable. Yeah. Oh, adorable. Or if you wanted a Chick-fil-A theme, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of it more as Dalmatian Oh, okay. It's okay. not. It's cow print. Oh. But I... <laughs> I think it, it goes with those apples. That's amazing. I think amazing. that's cute. Um, I got these for end of the year awards. That's the thing they do at my school that I didn't know we did. And so I got I these. I think that's nice. Um, I got stylish supplies. Yeah, those are nice. Which is a mini bulletin board set just to decorate with. And you get all that in there. And then look at Thing I've ever seen. I and love this is all Carson Delosa. So that other stuff, the cutesy apple stuff, that is all schoolgirl school style. style in collaboration with Carson Delosa. Except for this, and this is Creative Teaching Press. Okay. I think. Yeah, Creative Teaching Press did that. Um this is all Carson Delosa, just not schoolgirl style in collaboration. So you can see this, these. I love those. I know. Look at her. Look at her hair. I love it. Those are adorable. And I like the carpet with her little teeth. Oh, yes. Cute. I like her peeking around the bookshelf. I never noticed. That's cute. And I like how you can see all the parts of the world because they have the globe turned different. I just like everything about it. Yes, um, I do too. And then I got this. In our community, our strength is our diversity. That's nice. And that's like a bigger. Um, yes, that's a big one. That is so cute. Look at her little gap. 
And his braces. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. And they, I like how they're all connected, so it's really clear what goes together. I wish the this was not black. I wish this was blue like the ocean, but we can't have everything. I think it'll look good uh, once you hang it up, though. Yeah, but why couldn't we have had blue like the ocean? I know. Blue would have been good. So you get all these people. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's very diverse and, like, it's, it's very diverse. Uh, yeah, I like, like that a lot. Like, they disabilities and things like that, because a lot of times... Oh, I see yeah, that. Yeah, and then there's a, um, a blind person... Because a lot of times in, like, diversity things like this, you'll only see different skin, but you don't see different ability to people. Right, right. Yeah, that is, that's very, very cute. And then the last thing I have are, is the black, white, and stylish brights. You were awesome to the core. And this is another so one. So what do you put on that? Um, they put whose class Oh, I see. And then the apples. Does this come with more apples, or do you use these apples that you bought? It comes, oh, it comes with, with apples. 36 apples. Oh, that's great. Um, so then, you could say, like, you are the apple of my eye. Yes. Well, I bought those big apples, like the, the first thing. Mm -hmm. the big ones. They had a welcome set of this that matched, but it was just big piece of paper with WLC on these spread out, spread out, spelled out. Mm -hmm. And it was all black and white, and there was like an apple on the side. Right. I didn't like that. So that's why I got those big apples. I'm going to cut out welcome and put it on those apples and then use an apple as like the exclamation mark. And so all your flowers are going to come down. Yeah. I don't like them. Ashley and I are in Marshalls, and I want you to look at the little man for uh, the 4th of July. He He's so cute. They have Snoopy stuff. They have all kinds of stuff for the 4th of July. Look at that Coca-Cola thing. That's cool. Is that like a core? That's neat. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. That is a core. You know who would love that? Your your papa would love that. He's doing he's doing all that stuff to his outside. He would love that. It's a hundred and thirty dollars. I'm wondering if the lid stays on really well though. That is that's pretty cute though. and it's in red. I just think that's really nice. Oh, those are cute. Those are adorable. So we're in Home Goods, and this is the stuff that Home Goods has out for the 4th of July. Look. Did you see that? Yes, they have some cute little pillows. I think this one's neat because it says UK on it, University of Kentucky, and I had not seen one of those before. That's very unique. Very, very unique. And then they have signs you can put on the uh, the front porch. There's Miss Ashley. So Ashley and I have come to the Cheesecake Factory and what we're gonna do is we're gonna split an appetizer and then we're gonna both order dessert. So Ashley ordered these macaroni and cheese balls and I'll eat two and she'll eat two and then we'll get dessert. So Ashley ordered, what is this called? Uh, just a hot fudge sundae. But I didn't get whipped creams or almonds. The hot fudge sundae She's without whipped cream or almonds. And I got, I'm gonna show you, the pineapple upside down cheesecake, which I've never. Which to go to? Which piece would you like? I've banana cream. I've never had this before. We have to take care of dad, you know. Pineapple upside down cheesecake. Well, Tammy has went to Lexington with Ashley today. This is Sunday. So I thought I would work on a couple of Middle Earths um, while they're gone. So I've got this uh, farm tractor and I've got a United States Capitol building and I uh, thought I would probably do the farm, well, no, maybe do the Capitol building first because it looks like it'll be a little bit easier because it's mostly straight bins. Um, this one has some curves and stuff. So uh, it has some domes, but I don't think it'll be too awfully hard. So I'm gonna do the Capitol building first and then I'll do the farm tractor. I'll let you see what they look like when I get done. Okay, I finished the models um, and they were pretty interesting. The 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 funny about these is they uh, they have the old directions to where they're not as clear and like duplicate parts like if they're the same part um, on the sheet they don't go through the they're not like color coded and stuff so you just have to kind of figure out which one's which 
So they were pretty obvious which ones are which, but you know, you still have that issue. Um, the directions just aren't as clear. That one, the hardest part of that one was getting those tires um, put on right to where you're bending those things in. It, you can even attach something to that. There's yeah, it even looks like, like a it, little yeah. hitch thing on the back. Yeah. Look how you can see through it. It's like a. Yeah, it's got like a see through just like a real tractor does. And then this, the United States Capitol. Yeah, it was probably the easiest one because it was duplicate on each side. So what you did on one side, you just did the exact same thing on the other side. It was it was just like a, you know, side to side, it was the same. So you thought the tractor was harder. It was harder because there's more details in it, whereas the, the building is more, you know, bend it, stick it on there, do the exact same thing on the other side. The hardest part of that was probably the dome part, you know, and the skull. Do you think the tractor took longer to put together? Uh, probably. Yeah. Although they were probably basically the same, same length of time. They probably took about an hour and a half to two hours each, which is, you know, that's a good use of your time. If you have a, if you have something you want to give somebody a gift and you, and they're, um, like they like puzzles and they, they like 3d stuff, then it's, it's pretty cool. And these, these aren't the easiest by any means, but they're not the super hard ones either. This box was in our P.O. box. It is from Steven in Indiana and Kevin cut the tape for me, but I have not peeked. Oh. <gasps> Oh, yes, Tammy and Kevin, we love seeing the review of these candy bars. We were worried when Kevin took a bite that he had broke his tooth. <laughs> I went back and found these three varieties. Hope you enjoy them, Steve and Pam. They sent us, the Sweet Smith Candy Company, they sent us some of these brittles and we loved them. Now, we do not get these in our area. These are actually made in Canada, and uh, so I think it's amazing that they can find these in Indiana, uh, but they found the carrot cake, strawberry shortcake brittle, and birthday cake brittle. They're all brittle, so it's really cool because they, they look like candy bars, but then it's actually brittle. So when you bite into them, it's really crunchy, but they're delicious. So thank you so much. I cannot wait to try these. I want to tell you about a couple of things that I have watched late, uh, recently that I have very, very, very much enjoyed. Um, the first one is a movie. It is on, uh, I watched it on Netflix and it was just released this year, 2021, and it's called Oxygen. And it is it's a movie that kevin would have thoroughly enjoyed if he had watched with me and if he wanted to watch it i would totally watch it again with him so i liked it enough to where even though i know exactly what's going on um i would i would watch it it um the the, the person the main character um the actress's name is melanie laurent i guess is how you pronounce it She's very, very attractive, and she, um, uh, I don't think she's wearing any makeup whatsoever, but she's, she's so attractive. Anyway, she wakes up in a, uh, it says on Internet Movie Database, a woman wakes in a cryogenic chamber with no recollection of how she got there. As she's running out of oxygen, she must rebuild her memory to find a way out of her nightmare. It was awesome. It was very good there from the very very beginning um she wakes up and it goes from there and it's constant there's constant stuff happening and it's all new it never gets old it never got boring um if you're like me and you have a fear of uh, tight spaces Oh my goodness, you just don't want to think about it. You just have to watch the movie and enjoy it and try not to think about uh, her being in this chamber. Um, but it is so good. So if you get Netflix, that is one I highly recommend, Oxygen. And there's nothing bad in it, nothing dirty, anything like that. Uh, the next thing is on HBO. And this is called Mayor of Easttown. And if I had known, when I started watching the series, this is one of these, you know, like Netflix a lot of times, like House of Cards. When a new season of House of Cards would come out, they would release the whole season at one time. So you could watch it all. This isn't like that on HBO, and I didn't know this when I started watching it. There are still two episodes left. So this is one of those shows where you get to see one a week, just like a regular 
show on a regular TV channel, except it's HBO. And it has Kate Winslet. I know I mentioned Kate Winslet earlier in the video. This is completely different. I love Kate Winslet, though. I just, I think she's, she's wonderful. Um, I think she's beautiful, and I just really, really like her a lot. And, um, this is another one of those that if Kevin wanted to watch it, I would watch it. Absolutely watch it. This is one of those shows that normally... Kevin and I watch it together. It is a crime drama. So an event happens, well, several things happen in the, from the get-go, from the first episode. And then Kate Winslet plays a detective. And so she's trying to solve several different mysteries and what's going on. And so there are two episodes left. It's only seven episodes, period. And they've come out with uh, five episodes. By the time you watch this video, they'll have come out with the next one. They'll have come out with the sixth episode. It is like five out of five. I love it. It's wonderful. Like I said, if Kevin wanted to watch it again, I would totally watch it again with him. Because it is that good. It is. This is our kind of show. And I'm really, really hoping that they will do another season of it. I don't know, I don't know if Kate Winslet will be interested in, in doing another season, if they have any plans, whatever, but I can just tell you, if you like a mystery, crime, drama, this is for you. This is, it's so good. Um, and then the next thing um, that I've been watching is Clarice. And I am on, I've only watched two episodes of Clarice. And let's see how many, I don't know how many episodes there are. It looks like there's 12 episodes and I've only watched two full episodes. But it surprises me because I thought it would be like that, uh, the last show I was telling you about, The Mayor of Easttown. I thought the whole series would center on one event, kind of like a Silence of the Lambs. That's what Clarice is. It's a, it's a Silence of the, it takes place after Silence of the Lambs. So, um, if you ever watched, uh, Silence of the Lambs with Jodie Foster, this is about, uh, Clarice Starling, and this is what happens to her after. And so, I thought it was going to be like the movie, like the whole season was going to be about one event, and it's not each episode is like a separate it's like watching csi and i didn't expect it to be like that at all but it but it, it is like csi and i am enjoying it quite a bit too so it is very very interesting so i've i've just i've been dabbling in a bunch of different shows um but out of those three things if i could only recommend one to you I would recommend that Mayor of Easttown. So if you get HBO, even though I wouldn't have told you about them if I didn't like them all. If I didn't have liked, if I hadn't have liked um, Oxygen, I wouldn't have told you about that movie. Um, everything that I tell you about, you know, we watch little piddly things all the time and I never mention them because it's like, well, I don't know if it'll be worth your time. And even that one that I told you about earlier in the vlog that Kevin and I watched together, The Woman in the Window, I think I said earlier, that was a one-time thing for us. I mean, it was okay. There wasn't, there wasn't bad or anything like that. It was just a one-time thing. The things that I'm telling you about right now, Oxygen and Mayor of Easttown, I would totally watch those for a second time. So if you can't watch the other things that I mentioned, then you might want to try to watch those. We have a package to open. This is from Malcolm in the UK. Malcolm, he actually lives in Wales and he has sent something for Kevin for his birthday. So we opened the box. I have no I, idea what it is. I told Kevin, I said, I am going to hand you the stuff out of this box because normally the stuff's mainly for me or that I know of and I know that this is for him. Although this says to Tammy, and, uh, to Kevin and Tammy here, you open it. Uh, Malcolm always sends me um, the most unique cards and I have 
during Christmas especially, they're like, what would you call them? Like three dimensional cards, the Christmas ones that like this, yep. that open up. Um, and you set them around and I keep them and I display them every Christmas. And so like right now I have one in there in the dining room on the shelf of Buckingham Palace. Herman? The London Eye? I love it. That is so cool. The, for your birthday. That's cool. Thank you very much. That is so oh, that awesome. Car, with yeah. all the battery and the motor and all that stuff. So this is from Malcolm and uh, Virginia. And uh, Malcolm's wife, Virginia, is in a care home. And he was just telling me today that because of COVID and everything, he said he can, they've, He's been able to visit off and on, which breaks my heart because yeah, that would be awful. It would be horrible to not be able to see your loved one to be to be able to go visit every day. But he told me just today that he is only allowed to spend 15 minutes with her. Now, to me, better than nothing, but still, it makes no sense. And I said, yeah, what's 15 minutes? What's 15 minutes? Because, well, first of all, they've both been vaccinated. But that's neither, really not even the point. The point is, if you're already there, you're already seeing her for 15 minutes, yeah, what difference does it make if you stay for hours? Yeah. If she's gonna catch something, if she's gonna catch it in the 15 minutes just as well as she catch it in an hour. Right. I just don't get that at all. But, um, you know. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. Okay, so. Like I said, 15 is still better than none, but still. Wow, he has sent you some cool stuff. It would stink. For your birthday. Okay. I have to put glasses on because I can't see anything. Ooh, that's cool. That, you know, I've seen these crystal 3D puzzles and I've never actually I've bought never one. I've never seen one. Yeah, they've where got like the globes it? and stuff like that. They where did you Walmart see them? And stuff like oh, I've never yeah. seen them. Could, you, they, could they see that? They're clear one? like... Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's like a clear plastic, like 3D puzzle. I've never seen one yeah. of those. Yeah, oh, I haven't seen anything this decorative, but usually they're like globes and. Oh, that's neat. So, like that. that is so cool. is it like Lego? No, it's more like a. See, it's more like those 3D puzzles that we put together before. Oh, this was just clear plastic instead of uh, printed. Those pieces remind me if you've ever played the game Blockus. Oh, yeah, there's, a little bit. Yeah, yeah there's some red. Uh, it looks just like that. You That's can cool. see through the through the blockus pieces. That's neat. Okay, that'll, now, that'll be challenging. Another. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love, I love the face. <laughs> that is so cute. That is adorable, and I've definitely never seen that. No. 3D puzzle. That's neat. Big red, it looks like a, a wiggle wobble. I love that. Okay. I think that's that same brand. <laughs> Ravensburger. Ravensburger. We, yes, Ravens. we put together Ravens. many Ravensburger puzzles. Ooh. That's beautiful. Is that wood? I think that's wood. Is it wood? No, it's metal. It's metal. It's, it's Because it was uh, shiny. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a metal but earth. But it's like brass, but it's like metal earth. Yeah, it's like a metal earth kit. That's beautiful. Our window reflection is. Trying to block out Tammy's face because she's focused. Oh, sorry. It's focusing on I you. always lean, so it's a lean forward so I can look. <laughs> That's cool. It's beautiful. I love it. And ours isn't covered with scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be a very good model if it was covered with scaffolding. Okay. Ooh, a puzzle. Yes. This is, this is a toy for both of us. That, yes. And I will just say, uh, Bobby sent us a puzzle last week. And then Malcolm sent us puzzles this week. Um, Kevin, of course, will do these smaller ones. But pu big puzzles like this. We have to work those in. Well, we save <laughs> them, too, for when it's cold outside. Yeah. During the summer, when it's, like, hot like it is right now, we would rather, we can go here and there. We don't mind. When it's cold outside, like in January, we like to stay in. Mm -hmm. We don't like to go out when it's bitter, bitter cold. So that's the time we choose to do puzzles. So just know... We'll hang on to it. Uh, your puzzle, Malcolm, and Bobby's puzzle. Uh, it's just that we do those when it's when it's right. uh, cold. Oh, stinky winky, silly willy, off key donkey. That's me. I'm I've off -key donkey. never heard of the. This is for me. Not yeah. You. 
There once was an animal that lived on a farm. This animal looked very much like a horse, but with long, funny ears and a large, round snout. But this was no horse at all. This was a donkey. He said, who, me? Is it by the same? Uh, now, this wasn't just any donkey. This donkey loved to sing, but his voice was out of tune. When he brayed, that's the noise donkeys make when they sing, you know. Instead of singing, hee-haw, he sang, hee-hee, ha-ha. He was an off-key donkey. <laughs> so that is kind of... I will, I will read this. Yes, I love this. Thank you so much. I know this it's was cute. for me. I think it's funny. It, it's your birthday gift, but Malcolm put this in. Because I know. Oh, it's 100% he, for you. He put this in there for me. And the card, too, because I love the card. I think the card's cool, too. Thank you so very, Thank very you. much. Yes, we appreciate this. Uh, we're going to be back in a little bit. I know because I've already, someone's already told me that there is something down in our P.O. box. We just have not left no. the house yet for the day. I tell you something we did today, though. Big news in the Dunn house. What did you do? He turned on the air conditioner. Oh. I don't know what it did. Well, last night, it was, it was getting hot. <laughs> when we turn, we wait as long as we can to turn on the air conditioner. And I don't know if anybody else is like that or not. I know, we, I think in Andrew's house, it stays on like all year yeah, long. Yeah, it was on in February. <laughs> yeah, he likes the air conditioning. Um, but it was getting a little bit stuffy in here last night. And we were fine because we sleep with a fan on us. And um, yeah, so it was okay. So it was fine during the night. It didn't keep night. me awake. But then our bedroom is the hottest room in the house. There's so, like three vents in there. So even in the winter, when the heat's on, it you can be other rooms in the house will be chilly, and you can go in there and it is warm. Chilly is the nice word of saying cold. <laughs> <laughs> Very cold. Um, but today I walked in that bedroom after being in other rooms, and it's like. It is stuffy in this room. We have to turn the air on. And I have to say, walking past these vents, it has felt so good to, to have that cool air blowing up on you. So anyway, um, that's just, I know in the UK, most of the places don't even don't have, have air, conditioning. air conditioning. But for us, it, it just gets really, really stuffy if yeah. you don't have it. So yeah. I can't imagine not having it. No, because I think our, higher, our temperatures are a little higher than there. And for, for a longer, longer period, period of time. Yeah, for longer and the humidity is a little, I don't know if the humidity is higher, but the humidity is pretty high too. Yeah. So. so Malcolm sent us that 3D puzzle for Kevin of, what was it? It was, it was the London bus, yep, wasn't it? Okay, so Kevin, I told Kevin I had never seen these before. These are a Walmart original 3D crystal puzzle. They have a bird, they have a bear, um, a duck, giraffes they got a picture of a panda on the side looks cool but i don't actually and then down one. here they have a shark yeah i have just, just um panda, no, cool. i had yeah. never seen those before and there's a dog a so i'd say um in london they just have or in wales malcolm's in wales they just have different ones but i had never even noticed them before we went to the post office, but we did not pick up the box. <laughs> they, well, we, we, they didn't have the box They ready. didn't have the box ready. So the box is in the building, but it was not in our P.O. box. They, but they put the stuff in our P.O. box at 10 o'clock in the morning. So if it comes in to the post office after 10, we don't get it until the we next day. We don't get it until the next day. This box is from Jane. And you all might recall a couple weeks ago, I told you that Jane had, um, she had sent us, she had just mailed us some Hershey's Gold candy bars, and then she had a heart attack. Um, and it was, I mean, a, just a shock, you know? She had no idea anything was going on. Uh, but she's had all of her surgeries, and she's doing well. And clearly she's out shopping again, because she <laughs> sent me a bag of potato chips. Um, I don't know why we have not, cannot find these in our area. These no. are the Lay's Wavy Jerk Chicken. So we reviewed three different Lay's at one time and uh, two of them were the summer flavors, the mango and the other one. And this is one we just didn't have at our target. It's a BLT? Something yeah, like. summer BLT. And so Jane got it and I'm thinking she told me she found it in like Dollar General, which to be fair, we have not been in Dollar General in a minute. So, 
and that may be why. Uh, but thank you very, very much, Jane. So we will review these. We'll probably have already reviewed these by the time you see this video. I don't know. I, I want to review them soon because they are new, and uh, so I know people want to want to see what it's going to be like. So you may, may have already seen these in a video. So now this was a complete and total surprise. This is from Maria, right? Maria, I didn't even read it. Maria in Germany. And Maria normally warns me when she's sending me a box. I think she just likes me to be aware and be on the lookout. And so she has sent us Nestle Choco Crossies Crunchy Salted Caramel. These look phenomenal. Now I may give you a mix of things. So. That's fine. These look like um, uh, uh, pe peanuts that are covered in chocolate is what they look like. Peanuts. Salted caramel. They yeah, look little delicious. Nugget, These little, uh, clusters. are Nestle chocolate chips. They're called chocolate chips. They're pretzels. They are pretzels with a chocolate drizzle on them. Made by Nestle. So those two are Nestle. I see some Milka in here. Yeah, I Love the Milka. There's some very thick paper. Um, That's good printer paper. Uh, Milka Choco Brownie. And this is new Milka Cookie Sensations Oreo Cream Filling. Ah. Do you remember when we used to... Da -da! We used to square... Wait, give me that. We used to... Uh, uh, scare Guido, our pug. I think it here. Guido the pug. <laughs> he'd go. He would tuck his and butt then he'd in. <laughs> he, yeah, he little pugs. If you've ever seen them, uh, if they they get like a greased pig. I swear. He would tuck that tail in and he <laughs> would run, off. and I would go Guido. <laughs> It was so much fun. Um, and then I would, I would just make noises and he would run. He was a good, good he was a friend. Good um, so the cookie sensations with Oreo. And then these, we have had some cookies. Oh, of, they look just like that. Yes, they're a different brand. Yeah, they they have the little star shaped thing. I, I don't know why I'm thinking they're from Spain and I'm probably completely wrong. But they're called like bacalados or something like that, and they look just like that. Uh, but this is the Milko variety, so that'll be uh, that'll be good. And then we have a yogurt. This is a buttermilk lemon a limited edition. And I like these because they're they're small, they're delicate. They're you could eat the whole thing if you wanted to, like a candy bar. Um, but they're portioned so that you won't want to do that. Uh, but I like these. These are two different. Uh, Shogetin. Oh, I've been wanting these. Okay. Well, now you got. Okay. <laughs> Kit Kat came out. I think it was Kit Kat. Kit Kat, Kit Kat came out with Lotus Biscoff Kit Kats. I've been wanting them ever since they came out. And um, and I'll be darned, do you know there's a company online that sells them and they actually say melted? Melted. So they're literally already melted? Yeah, they're melted. It's like they've been damaged, so they're on sale, but they're really not that big of a sale because they're still charging a lot for them because they're coming from overseas. But they've been, those things have been melted and people are still buying them. Well, if you put it in the freezer or refrigerator or something, uh, the chocolate will get firm and you just scrape it off. Can you imagine, though, us doing a review and pulling out this? <laughs> this is slightly damaged. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is Shogetin Lotus Biscoff. I those at Aldi. I am so excited. They not, that, not that flavor, but that right, brand. But they, yes, they sell uh, Shogetin. Um, and I was just showing Kevin when we were in Kroger a few days ago, they not only have the, the uh, Lotus Biscoff, but they have the crunchy version too. And I told him, I said, can you imagine instead of making a peanut butter roll, putting that, doing it the exact same way, but putting the Lotus Biscoff and even using the crunchy and rolling that up. That would be, be good, so like a good. hazelnut kind of. Oh yeah, I'd love that. It's a peanut butter roll. Be a hazelnut. It, 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 it's a it's a cinnamon. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, the, uh, the speculoos. Yeah, speculoos. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But now cookie butter. 
I don't think you could do it. I like your idea with Nutella, but I don't think you could do it because it's too runny. Is it runny? I don't remember it being that it runny. It is, isn't it? Isn't it kind, it kind of, of runny? Thick. I don't remember. It's been a long is time since I had it. I don't know if you could do that. It is kind of melty chocolate yes. kind of texture. Whereas yeah. the Biscoff it's is more like a peanut thick. Pie. It yes. is. Yeah, it's true. So you could do that, but I don't think, I don't know that Nutella would work. That'd be good. I can, I'm thinking of cookie butter, speculoos. It would absolutely be that delicious. Be That's why I, I pointed it out at Kroger, hoping he would say, oh yeah, we'll make that. We'll do that. I, didn't, he, I don't think that But way. he didn't say that. He didn't get my hint. I don't think that way. She just got to tell me stuff. I just have to tell him. Don't make it. He's not a don't mind reader. Him. Just tell him. <laughs> just tell him. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. Okay. I think we should totally try. Uh, this is the Nestle. It looks like it's a white chocolate. It's got little it's crisp. nuts or something. Oh, it okay. says oh, my God. Nestle Crisp, crisp and I'm assuming... So uh, it's like a uh, Nestle Crunch Bar with, with, with white chocolate. Yes. So that looks good. Do you want bars or do you want these boxes? The boxes. Um, Argenta. This is um, melon and it looks like watermelon and strawberry. I think herb beer. I think that's strawberry. I might be wrong. Um, uh, uh, watermelon no and strawberry. I'm, for some reason, I'm thinking that means strawberry. Uh, this is so orange. So those are like little wedges? They're like little chocolate wedges. Yeah. No, they're like they cookies. Look, that looks like a gummy. That Doesn't that look like a gummy? Yeah, but then the one laying flat doesn't look like a gummy. It looks like a cookie. That looks like a cookie almost. Oh, yeah. Well, we're, we're just going to be surprised. <laughs> and this is orange and lemon. And then this one is pineapple and coconut pina colada. So those look really good. These are like These, bonbons. We have had this brand. Uh, we've had several things from this brand. This is the Halloran Kuglin. Uh, this is the retro limited edition. And it looks like lime and vanilla. So it looks like lime and vanilla pudding is is what it looks like. Yeah, it's like a cream. And then this is the limited edition American style, which is sea salt caramel from the American. picture. Americans and their sea salt caramel, what can I say? And this is American style uh, chocolate and banana. It looks like banana and chocolate chip. Yeah. Oh, and it is sea salt and caramel. I didn't even see that, see that at the bottom. I was just going by the picture. Banana and chocolate chip. Now, if they wanted to get really American, they would do banana and peanut butter. Or root that, beer. Ooh, and there's more. Root beer float. Oh, yeah, root beer float. Summer edition. This is... This is buttermilk, but it looks like lemon. Lemon and buttermilk. Okay, these were buttermilk and lemon. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so that has to be it. And then this one is... I don't think it's buttermilk like we have. Strawberry here. and vanilla. Vanilla bean. I think and, it's just buttery milk. Not and then this butter. one is <laughs> um, yogurt. That is a um, not kumquat. What's the one with the um, a with pea? The, it begins with a pea. Passion fruit? No. A pomegranate. Pomegranate. Pome no, that's not pomegranate. You don't think that's a pomegranate? No, a pomegranate have the little rubies in it. It says passion fruit. I think that's and a yogurt. passion fruit. Yeah, right. Oh, well, I thought it was a. Okay. No, remember, pa um, I thought it was a pomegranate. Pomegranate it has the little fruit. red rubies in it. Oh, remember? that's right. Yes, yeah. I remember. I remember. You can tell how often we eat fruit. <laughs> all um, the time. All the time. We really do. Okay, so this is passion fruit and yogurt cream enrobed in white chocolate. If I had just read, just read, Tammy, read the box. Pardon? It'll tell you what it is. Two of my favorite brands coming up. Milka. There's one. Um, Milka. Oh, my. Awesome. And this is a... Um, Speculoos. Oh, that's cool. That's, I mean, that's that's what that looks like to me, right? Uh, like a snickerdoodle. Isn't that what that? That, that looks like our cinnamon, cinnamon cookie. Yeah, cinnamon, yeah, that looks wonderful. Yeah. Of course, hazelnut cream. Milka, yeah, Milka, Milka brand hazelnut cream. Uh, of course, I can't read one thing on here. <laughs> Don't even try. Uh, this looks like an almond. It's uh, almond and cream. And this is a coconut, almond, and white chocolate. <coughs> All of these look incredible. Yeah, and I love that. The, I love the Christmas tree and the Christmas scene and the starry sky on these. I love them. 
Oh. Alpine. Al Al Alpia. 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 How about they were Alpine? Alpine is one of my other favorites. Al Although these, I'm sure, are good. Uh, yes. Remember, she sent us these before, and they were absolutely wonderful. And I said, when we reviewed them before, I said, we've never seen that brand in Jungle Gym. That's right. But if we did see them, I would know to get them because they were so, so delicious. Yep, yes, that's right. yes. I remember that, yeah. So this is the cappuccino cream. But when I said it was one of my favorites, I thought it was an Alpine. Yeah. This is the... Um, There's a box in it. It looks like chocolate uh, hazelnut. Uh, that's probably wrong. Hazelnuts is that is a that's, that's hazelnut. This is hazelnut. That is a uh, okay, hazelnut. okay. This is a I swear it looks is that hazelnut? We don't know. We'll check it out. And this is a uh, strawberry. strawberry and yogurt. I know what a strawberry looks like. Yes. Well, that word, that herb beer, yeah. is, I'm pretty sure that was strawberry. Uh, so, thank you. I can't wait to try those because we know that brand. Oh, my gosh. That's huge. <laughs> Milka Max. This is a, like a champion <coughs> bar, and it looks like there's three teams on the front. So, it looks like... Uh, three, this is like the champion bar, and this is for football, their football. Soccer. It's soccer, their football. Or soccer. Um, yes, uh, but that's, uh, and it looks like there's three different teams, so we, of course, before we do the review, I'll find out about all of this stuff. We're in the box within the box now. That Cat was just the stuff outside the uh, main box. Oh my gosh. Catches, uh, we've had this brand before. Uh, this is the no milk. Cats. Catter, milk catter, uh, vegetarian, and these are like little gummies, and they're little kitty cats, yeah, and they're okay. adorable. Wait until we do the review, and you'll get to see these up close. It's literally a body of a, a, a full body cat, and it has a pink heart on its chest. It's adorable. Haribo, yo, yogurt, yogurities, yogurties. And these are There's new. the flavors. Yeah, these are new. There's the flavors. If you can read German, you can know so what they are. Soft. They were soft. They're very soft. It looks like they're strawberry, blueberry, orange, uh, lemon. Uh, lemon, and uh, apple, and then um, what is that that they do that we don't? Not great, but black currant? Black currant. Maybe black currant. Um, Something lumpy and purple. Yeah, lumpy <laughs> and purple. It could be a grape, it could be a black currant. Um, this is the Haribo, this is watermelon, and we get watermelon here, so it'll be interesting to see how these are, are different. Uh, Shogetan Salted Pretzel. Oh, that's the same brand. Yes. Um, yeah, look at this. Have any of you all seen these? I bet you haven't seen those in Aldi. Mm -hmm. um, and they have two more varieties. They have a caramel and a cookie and a caramel hazelnut, and they have a cookie and vanilla one too, in a green bag and in a blue bag. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the same one. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yay! I was gonna say, and she might have put them in here. She did. Bigger size, special taste, and those look at look at how good that looks. Mm, those look good. Oh, those look awesome. Um, I, I cannot wait, wait to try these. These are, these are going to be right up your alley. They're going to be what? Right up your alley. Rum and coconut. Oh, yes. Casali. Casali. Original rum and coconut. They have a liquid filling. Mm -hmm. I love that kind because they're normally, they have a crisp outer shell. And they got and like then, a sugary coating on the inside, don't they? Yes, I hope this is like that. I mean, yes. literally, it's kind of weird when Love you eat it. It's them. like, it's like a, you're licking um, the inside of a cave or something. Oh, listen, <laughs> but they're addictive and I love them. They're usually pretty strong. Oh, too. they're good. You, yes. This is the coconut, the Nestle Lion in the coconut, which I didn't even know they did. Uh -oh. I didn't know that one This, uh, she sent us some of these last time, the Giotto Moments. These are, um, 
We do, we just don't even know because <laughs> it's we just don't even know. They're creamy and oh, those are like sandwich cookies, weren't they? And no, these no. are those little balls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you open them yep, up and they're the, yep. yeah, the whole tube's full of yep, these. I remember those. But they're excellent. They're creamy on the inside. Yep. And um, what? Here's there's more little balls. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Raffaello, we've had this brand before. Summer moment mix. This, um, it might be coconut and... I think it's um, some kind of flour. That's not, that's not coconut. You don't think it's going to be coconut? No, because that's coconut. Or is it or classic? Could classic be classic. and raspberry. It might be classic and raspberry. That might be what that says. Or you German speaking. My battery's there. blanking. How much more do we, we have? We just got that and three more little okay. bites. <laughs> and my battery just started blanking. These are corny energy bars. They sound good. This one apparently has coffee. Uh, this one is a coffee. This has coffee too. They're both energy. One of them is like chocolate and peanut and coffee. And this one is almond and chocolate and coffee. Those look good. Yes, they did. Ooh. Nor. Um, we get something that's that brand. It's the canning stuff. Oh, more. that's that. Um, this looks like... Like the jars and... Is that a potato? Can. It looks like potato. Spatzel? It's, got, it's onion and... Cheese. cheese and spatzel? Is that, uh, that... Potato, I think. I don't know if it's potato or not. I've had spatzel. You have had it from Aldi, yeah. haven't you? Yeah, it was really On good. On his Lunchtime Review channel. Yeah, I love the texture and everything. And then these are the Funny Fresh uh, like Crispers. This is cheese and jalapeno style. I have no clue. You know what these... Honey and synth. You know what these look <laughs> and feel just like? It's is, like uh, What is that brand of pretzels that you love? The, the I mean, Snyder's of Hanover. Yeah. Kevin loves the, the mustard. The honey sourdough mustard. pretzels. That's exactly what these That's what they look like. like too. Yeah, I think these are going to be pretzels. I don't know what this flavor this is. It looks like honey and synth. S-E-N-F, whatever that is. We don't know what synth is. <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you, thank you. So, very big surprises. So, now I'm hoping... Um, it, it, Maria, I will have to contact her and let her know that this arrived and she may have to tell me what some of these things are or like this. She may have to tell me how to make this. Uh, so thank you. you. Thank you so much. No, but yeah, that looks like something you have to cook. Oh, in 12. Yeah, you have to cook that. Minutes. Okay, yeah. Kevin yeah. would have us open in the bag and be eat raw. raw <laughs> um, Thank you, Jean. Thank you for the potato chips. And Maria, thank you so very, very much. We're at Walmart right now, and I want to show you, not only does Walmart now have family size, family size is one pound, three ounces, but now they have mega size. One pound, 13, 13 ounces. So they, I mean, so i always made fun of walmart for having the big boxes anyway <laughs> and now they've like they're Maybe like ha ha we'll show you we're just gonna come out with a mega size and that's mcdonald's super size yeah super size that's exactly what that is so and there are so many cereals we're looking for some new ones but there are so many cereals that it's like and they have these galactic lucky charms it's just the same thing it's just different um shapes as far as i know we went to the p.o box today uh, because today is friday this is the day that i always well normally i end the vlog on thursday to be honest on thursday evening but i was waiting for a box at the p.o box and it was not there again today but this one was there I, completely unexpected um this says grandma's bake shop and it is a fruit cake and this is beatrice's bakey bakery company and this is a chocolate rum cake so it says the paperwork says my name is brandy with beatrice bakey bakery company I was doing some research online and ran across a review you did once on a fruit cake. I wanted to give you an opportunity to try ours. Grandma's fruit cake recipe has been around since 1917. And so she goes on and she tells me about that, which we will talk about in the review when we review these. And then they sent me this book. Welcome to our world of yum. And I have not 
looked in it yet. Let's see. Was that a... Oh, okay. It folds out. Okay, so there's a piece of paper there. I'm trying to, to do this... Film this on my own. Ooh, pineapple macadamia nut. Turtle nut cake. Cinnamon... Apple cinnamon nut. Oh, they have all kinds of stuff in here. Fruit cakes. They uh, have a uh, bars, you, so you can get them in bars, or you can get a ring. Look at that, a snack pack. And then they have chocolate covered fruit cake squares, which is neat. Chocolate fruit cake, ye old English fruit cake. That's a uh, kosher certified fruit cake. And then they have a gourmet trio. So they have. Um, Amaretto, Grandma's Original, and Chocolate Fruitcake, which that looks like that would be a good one to get because you get a one of each one. And then no sugar added, alcohol free. And then and these are Streusel coffee cakes and breakfast breads. So they have a lot more than just fruitcakes at this place. That is really, really cool. So uh, what's this on the back? Ooh, and these are liquor cakes. That's what I like. Amaretto, Kahlua, uh, chocolate rum, key lime, lemon drop, chocolate Merlot, strawberry daiquiri, and pina colada. Those sound fantastic. I am going to end the vlog now for the week. It is actually Friday evening. Um, I have, I've, it, the vlog is, it's an hour and seven minutes right now. So I'm not going to talk a lot right now because I know some people really don't like uh, longer videos. Of course, if they don't like longer videos, they're probably long gone by now. But I've tried to uh, cut, you know, if, if I... <laughs> I tend to like go on for a long time and like when we're doing box openings I've got a story for everything or I've like to comment on everything so I've tried to like cut out any place that I could and um, so I tried to make it shorter uh, but it still is an hour and seven minutes long right now so I hope you all have a wonderful week. Uh, my peonies are starting to come out. I cannot wait to film them for you and show them to you next week. I'm so excited because up until this point, we haven't even been sure what color they're going to be. So, uh, hopefully they'll be out in full bloom next week and I'll get to show them to you. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. By watching this video, you supported the channel. I really, really appreciate that, and we'll see you next week.